Dr. Donald Fabio, and welcome to the Mayor's Roundtable. Intelligent conversation, a semi-round table, bringing you the Citizen Berkeley Heights information to keep you informed with your mayor, Robert Woodruff. Mayor, well, thank you for coming out tonight. As always, it's been a little bit of a hiatus since the last time we've been on. It's been three months, so I know there's a lot going on. There's a lot you want to cover. Um, so uh, I guess biggest on everybody's mind is foremost, the redevelopment. Where, where do we stand with that, and you know, what's our update? Oh, okay, Doc. Uh, maybe what I'll do is, is combine redevelopment and affordable housing. since they Well, they really, are dovetailed anyway. They do dovetail, and, and we've pretty much considered them that during the last five, six months, mm -hmm. that we've made a significant number of presentations. Um, this past, uh, well, on the 17th, uh, a couple days ago, uh, the court approved our affordable housing uh, nice. agreement with fair nice. share housing and with those interveners, meaning those developers who had become okay. a part of the lawsuit. How far did we have to take them? Did we have to go to a court or we just sent a proposal? No, we, we, as a result of some tremendous negotiation by our group that included Mike Mastretta, uh, our town planner, John Basicolo, who's our, our BA, uh, Mark Fasher, uh, who's mm -hmm. our, one of our councilmen, and some other individuals, uh, Joseph Dillo, our attorney, I, I think we did very, very well, particularly on the fact of what we're hearing is going on in other towns. Um, and we've, what we've done is we've assured ourselves immunity from lawsuits from developers for the next 10 years. Now, obviously, there are things that have to be done in that 10-year sure. period of time. Uh, as, as some of you may remember, the developers were seeking somewhere in the area of 800 units. That's where units, we started, yeah. Where we started, and um, where it came out is at the number of 389. Wow, which, uh, that's we, great. Which we feel pretty good about, and, um, and a large that's portion great. of that 389 uh, is being subsumed in what we talk about in the redevelopment area of the town, and that has to do, obviously, uh, with Connell, who was not a party to the suit, but we do have an agreement with them. Meaning uh, that's going to go against our affordable that, housing. That, that, absolutely, we'll get credit for that. You get okay. credit, and and Connell has always been a good neighbor, and they were in this instance. They did not join the suit. We thought we could work it out with them without them being a party, and we did. Excellent. Um, the uh, uh, 55 and older housing on Locust Avenue has also the agreement's been made there. Uh, we did some. Again, I want to thank our negotiators because once we had come to an agreement and we were heading down the final stretch. Um, uh, the, the developers, being business people, would oftentimes, I, I think, take a look at the fact that it was crunch time and maybe try and squeeze something sure, else sure, out. Sure, sure, It's to be expected, no, okay? But uh, our people did a nice job there and, and, and brought all this home. Uh, we obviously have the King's property, which has been uh, agreed upon, as well as the theater. Oh, nice. So it's all wrapped up in a bow, so to speak. Now, we have things we need to get done mm -hmm. during that period of time. Mm -hmm. In reaching the ver in, in reaching the goal, got it, got okay? it. Okay, and uh, but we feel very, very good about what we've done. We also managed to incorporate in all of those agreements uh, what we have recently passed. The council passed it, uh, what is commonly known as Part 19 of the Design Standards. Okay, okay. what does that mean? Well, essentially, is is if you don't have specificity with respect to what you want builders to do. They don't have to do it. Sure. Okay. Sure. And for example, we want some consistency in our downtown mm -hmm. uh, with respect to bricks, color, yep. lighting, roofs, yep. and so on and so forth. Now, uh, all f uh, these four areas I mentioned, only two of them are downtown. Okay. So we managed to have Locust, the Locust property, as well as the Connell property, to an extent it's appropriate, to comply with, with Part 19. Oh, nice. So we're getting a generalized feel of the whole. Correct. Town of Berkeley Heights, not Correct. just That's between right. Snyder and uh, Plainfield Avenue. Right, Avenues. and and um, and one of the things that I'm really looking forward to, I think, is going to be a you know a great addition to the town. Uh, the Kings, the developer at Kings, uh, agreed to basically take uh, uh, take the roadway that runs that cuts through there, okay. Okay, Sherman Avenue, as yep. everybody knows, yeah. okay, and extend Sherman Avenue all the way out to towards Plainfield widening it and giving us more of a boulevard look, which will hopefully enhance 
people's desire to walk down there. Nice. Okay, so all of this is, these are great things that, uh, that the town's looking forward to. And, and of course, we want to bring that into conjunction, meaning bring that into the area of where our new town hall will be. Okay, right. which okay. brings me up to the next issue, and that is uh, redevelopment as, as it currently stands. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, essentially, um, we're, at, we're at the following position right now with respect to redevelopment. The discussions with the church, the uh, Little Flower Church, are still ongoing. Okay. Okay, that Everyone, is not... Everyone's still at the table. Everyone's still at the table, and, and there are some issues there. We get a lot of lawyers involved, so you know what happens there, right? Don? So... Um, there's some things that have to be ironed out there, but that's really of no moment to the council and the elected officials okay. in this town. We are moving forward with respect to the township administration building. Now, that leads me to uh, one of the questions, or a couple of questions that, that I've been asked in the last week or so, and they really kind of, uh, you know, flow out of the political season, mm -hmm. okay, and various comments are being made in writing, and it's irrelevant who makes them, it's not important. The question is, is, is the, are the citizens getting the, the correct information? Yeah, what are the facts? What are, what the, are facts the facts? Really? And, um, to, to redevelopment. And, and there's been some suggestion, for example, uh, with respect to the amount of money we're borrowing and so on and so forth and what our debt is and so on and so forth. So um, there's been representation that our current debt is $21.3 million, and, and that is not true. Our okay. current debt is $16.4 million, and that's rolling off on a monthly basis. And I know that because I spoke directly to the CFO today to get that okay. information. And I want to highlight to, to everyone in town, if you have any questions about our budget or if you have any questions about where your money is being spent, you can reach out to our people and they will arrange, you know, given the time and mm -hmm. given their availability mm -hmm. to speak to you ab about okay. that. So, so we don't have 16, uh, excuse me, 21.3 million. We have 16.4. That's uh, current debt. That's current debt and that's rolling off each month. Now the projected bond is $27 million ballpark, okay. 22 of that towards construction, the, ma the remaining towards professional fees and, and the like. Can I get one of those jobs? Well, you can bid. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm only kidding. Now, I'm there's been kidding. a suggestion that following uh, the sale or the potential sale of the uh, or us taking the Hamilton property and okay. then selling it, there's been a suggestion that the remaining uh, uh, bond will still be over $20 million, and that's also not true. The remaining bond would likely be diminished from the $27 million down to about four, anywhere from 13 to $15 million, okay. or 14 to $15 million because that's what we anticipate that area going for in, uh, in, in general. So uh, those are facts. Those are the okay. hard numbers. Correct. Um, there was also a reference to the fact that um, that one individual, that one no vote to this, could bring this to a conclusion, i.e. stop it. That's also not true. Meaning on the township committee? Meaning on the township committee, correct. Okay. Uh, a little background. Uh, our form of government has a mayor and six elected individuals on the council. The mayor only votes in instances of a tie. Right? Okay. And in, in this particular issue with respect to redevelopment, uh, two of our council people, Council President Gene Kingsley and Councilman uh, uh, Mike DeQuilla, both okay. recused themselves because of their connection with, um, with Little Flower. They did so voluntarily. There okay. was no requirement that they did so. Mm -hmm. They did so voluntarily. So mm -hmm. that leaves four voting members. Got it. Uh, our lawyers have repeatedly indicated that three to one passes. Yeah. So if in fact there is a three to one vote, you move forward. Yeah. So if there's any representations floating around out there that uh, a three to one will halt this, that's again an incorrect okay. piece of information. Mm -hmm. Again, it's irrelevant who said it. Yeah. It's just important that the people understand. There's also been reference to the fact that there's an outstanding uh, lawsuit, uh, which there has been, Okay. Uh, brought by... Uh, there's a couple outstanding or just, just one. one now? Just now, one. That, now we're down to there's just, just one. one. And, and, for a while uh, there were several. And, you know? and, and, a, and a citizen, um, Carol Matulo, who is, uh, attends many of, of our mm -hmm. meetings, brought a lawsuit uh, which was summarily dismissed and uh, she has taken it up on appeal. Uh, lawsuits do not stop the town from executing its business. Okay? okay. What stops a town are court orders. There are no court orders. All okay? Right. We're very comfortable with, uh, with the decision that we receive from the court. Uh, we are moving forward, so that is not stopping anything. So any, any inference, uh, direct or otherwise, that that okay. will impact redevelopment is, is inaccurate and, uh, and just not, not so. Yeah, yeah. So I, I think that's important because people need to know two things. They need to know what the process is for redevelopment, 
Exactly. Obviously. And Sad. number two, uh, insofar as they get involved with the, the political voting process, they need to know what the facts are. And they mm -hmm. can make their decision based upon whatever, well, whatever their own personal choice. But that's are. it. But you got to, we want to get the facts out. And that's what the show is all about is to empower the residents with information right. that's accurate. Right. But the, so the bottom line, at the end of the day, if everything goes according to uh, best case scenario, we're in for about 13 million plus our current 20 million uh, for total deficit? Well, it would be maybe 13 to 15 plus we, we have the diminishing what was 16.4 mm -hmm. coming coming off. Coming off. Now, this is an Just so people can get an idea of yeah, a, a bottom line total number, which probably, is will be diminishing, but. You're probably talking 16.4. Now, obviously, all of these have been secured at various rates. Sure. Okay, right now, the rates are incredible from mm -hmm. a borrower. Super standpoint. low, yeah. Tremendously low. Yeah, it's cheap. And, and let me speak to a little bit of that. The, the first step in the redevelopment process would be to take the salt dome which mm -hmm. is located behind uh, this uh, facility, and it has to be moved because the area that Salt Dome is currently sitting on will be part of the footprint for the new building. Yeah. So once that's moved, all right, okay, meaning mm -hmm. built somewhere else, this one's raised, then, then the next phase can start. Now, um, we need to make a decision because what has to be done there is it has to be bid as to how we're going to do it. It shouldn't be particularly difficult because a salt dome, from my understanding, is you're pouring cement for a base and sure. walls, and it's more than likely prefab to some extent. Uh, we need to decide whether we're going to put that in the 2017 budget or uh, look to acquire what's known as bands, bond anticipation notes, which you then can take the bond anticipation note and roll that into a bigger bond as we got move it, forward. Got it. So uh, with the cost of money, uh, you know, it's cheaper to let somebody use somebody else's sure, money sure. than it is your own because we can continue to pay down those notes that are at a higher rate. Okay, and uh, and and we ones. right, and we have a uh, uh, what what I think is a fiscally prudent approach to to okay. dealing with surplus and using that surplus to to pay down. Got it. Okay? Excellent. Excellent. Um, in conjunction, also with the uh, uh, with the redevelopment, uh, as everyone knows, there's going to be a uh, restaurant up at Connell. Uh, they anticipate an early winter, early 2017 opening, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. Um, we have uh, a bid out there right now with respect to the purchase of a liquor license. Um, we think for them. For them, correct. That is that is uh, not issued by the town, but the town controls it. It comes out of the state. Any um, any hotel with 100 or more uh, rooms, rooms, the town is entitled to a liquor license. Got on it. that liquor license, there is a 3%, excuse me, uh, that go, is a one-time payment. Mm -hmm. Now, that is in addition, obviously, to a hotel once it's open for the 3% sales tax per room per night. That goes to the town. Nice. So, uh, you know. So, it, finally, it, we're going to get some of those extra taxes that you see on the bottom of your bill yeah, when the, you go yeah, out. Right. We're going to stay here, finally. Every time they say, give me seven more dollars. And yeah. You them, goes, uh, oh, now so. we know we're going to get some of that. Yeah, and, and, and the question then is, is how is that going to be appropriately uh, assigned um, I'm a, personally, I'm a strong believer that you do not uh, take on any long-term debt because you happen to be flush in one or two years because yeah. you're still going to have sure. to pay that debt, sure. whether it be continuing sure. salaries or something yeah. else down the road. It's, it's just not a smart way to, to conduct business. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's pretty much the immediate issues with respect to affordable housing. Nice. And as you said, you know, you said many times, Doc, the connection between affordable housing and uh, the redevelopment. Yeah, they go is, hand in it's hand. It's right there. Now, um, Ultimately, and again, this is all part of the downtown redevelopment, and I'm going to get into at the next segment, mm -hmm. uh, Peppertown Park, which okay. I think the town is going to be very excited about when they say, but everyone's aware of the Veterans uh, Park, which is across the street, right. and, it, and, and how well that's done. And there is, uh, the council has a goal here to tie in this entire area and make it green. Well, that's also where the beautification committee has been working so hard at giving it, you already mentioned, a common feel throughout the whole town, not just the downtown area, but the, 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 the parks, um, the Mondelli Park, as well as uh, um, the m new Memorial Park. That's all tied into the beautification committee, correct? Uh, absolutely, and the committee that the veterans committee across the street, you know, that, that mm -hmm. again, these are all volunteers, yeah, and, okay? nice. and it's so great because you see the level of enthusiasm that they're bringing to this, and the, the Veterans Park was, was so well done and so well received uh, that, you know, we're just trying to you know, harness that Throwing enthusiasm that. And, sure. and move on. Now, the, the old movie theater 
That's going to be a combination retail housing, or is that just going to be retail up there? No, that's I, right on Springfield Ave. It is, and it, uh, it is probably the most often commented about piece of property that people want to know what's going to happen. That and Kings. Okay, so both of them are going to be fixed. Yeah. Um, what you're going to get at the, um, at the movie theater are 21 uh, apartments, some of which will be duplexes. Wow. And I, 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 wow. From, from, initial, from what we've seen initially, um, they may be the nicest uh, of anything that's going up in town. Mm -hmm. But we're also going to get 4,400 square feet of retail in the back, okay, yeah. which will open up onto um, the redeveloped You're area saying, of Sherman. Yeah. So it, get more it, foot traffic. Correct. There. So, you know, you think about it and it would be a great place maybe for a restaurant of some kind because you're going to have all that open seating in the back. Mm -hmm. there's, a, there's a distance between exactly. where the movie theater ends yeah. and the street starts. Exactly. So uh, that would be a nice thing. Right now they're looking at two 2,200 square feet uh, retail establishments, but I'm sure that could yeah. be split up anyway. That's a lot of space. It is. Just, I mean, in movie theater, you think about it, it was an old school movie theater, big screen, so there was a lot of space in there, but when you break it up into units like that, yep. you, you, and, that and that's just And tangible. that's just the retail. That's not the, the, the various no. uh, 21 or so, I think it's 21 um, residences in, in, in the locale. So again, it's going to be, it, the next few years in this town are going to be exciting times. Um, I think we're moving forward. And there haven't been exciting times well, enough they, for you the last couple <laughs> that's of years. true. Um, but I think, they're, I think people are going to see some real good changes in this town that have been done, you know, with a sense of design, with a mm -hmm. sense of purpose, mm -hmm. okay, uh, with a sense of trying to tie this thing together, mm -hmm. uh, make it a town that, that people will come downtown to enjoy. Um, help our help our businesses yeah. and, and I just try and tie the whole thing in. You know, just the other day, somebody would had uh, mentioned to me that uh, moving the municipal complex and putting up a new municipal complex is like, mm -hmm. well, how come? And I'm like, I guess they haven't been watching our shows. Uh -huh. but, I mean, the we the original plans to rechange this go back how many years? Thirty years. Yeah. Thirty years and. Yeah. Uh, and uh, so know, it's quite a, and it's time. It's probably six to ten different councils have seen the issue. Okay, yeah. there were studies done. Uh, the study that was done on this by our uh, planner and, and so other, the, the, the issues and problems here are myriad. Okay, mm -hmm. and anyone that suggests that they can be done superficially uh, it doesn't understand. Okay, yeah. uh, we're, no, we're in non compliance all over the place with federal regulations and rules, and we have a police department, the Detective Bureau has been operating out of a of a um, trailer. Wow. Uh, it was temporary, but it's been 20 years worth of temporary. Yeah, well, so I guess we got our use out of the trailer. You know what, you, this, this, town, this town deserves uh, a, 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 an attractive, multi-purpose town hall mm -hmm. that's, going to, that's going to satisfy the, the library needs. We're, we've got a library now that is, is, is a myriad, it's a Byzantine, okay, yeah. as to how it is. And we're going to fix that, and we're going to get our seniors over here, okay, and we're going to get the police department in, a, uh, in an updated facility that it's going to be tremendous, and uh, the entire town is going to be able to take advantage of, of what we nice. have to offer there. And not only that, we're getting maybe somewhere in the area of 50 new Parking spaces, which that's always key. And and when you're we trying when you're trying to sell homes along a railroad line, yeah. and you can say there are parking spaces, well, that helps. That helps your home. No, that home helps. Value. No, that, that's one thing I need to notice even by uh, um, the building I'm in is is parking is a premium. You know, even outside of that, the the the, the hub of uh, of the downtown area. So now you had mentioned a, a moment ago that. Uh, uh, about Peppertown Park, but before you go into that, I want our live audience to give themselves a big round of applause. Yeah, they are alive. Oh boy, they are alive. alive. I think they're alive. Sometimes they I look like still pictures, but yeah. They are can alive. we put in one of those applause signs over our head in the budget, or maybe somebody can donate one? We can yeah. really, or so just come and hold it up. Yeah. But anyway, our live audience is here, and we do film at uh, 6:45 the third Thursday of every month, and uh, we go off at seven. And we're live to, uh, streaming, but. Peppertown Park, you wanted to say something about that before we take a short yeah, break? Yeah, um, again, uh, tied into the uh, veterans, uh, we've got individuals that, you know, they just stepped up and said, look, let's go right across the street. Let's get this done. And uh, we'll talk a little bit more about it when we, you know, we come back from the break. Okay. Uh, and I, I think the town's going to love it. And uh, it's ambitious, but um, 
you know, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Well, that's Berkeley Heights. We're ambitious. I'm Dr. Donald DeFabio with your mayor, Robert Woodruff. We're going to take a short break and be right back. Stay tuned. the show. I'm Dr. Donald DeFabio with Mayor Woodruff. Mayor, you wanted to spend some time talking about Peppertown Park. We changed the set a little bit. We're now ambulatory. Hide everybody at home, but we have some graphics here. Please explain to me what's going on as well as the people at home. Okay, well, as I indicated, uh, uh, a significant number of the same individuals involved in the veterans uh, came forward and, and asked, and, and the, uh, two nights ago, the council agreed to pass an ordinance. Just two nights ago. Two cool. nights ago, all right. They've already got a 501c3, nice. which helps them from a uh, uh, raising dollar standpoint. And uh, the, or the uh, council straw voted an agreement, so we're going to prepare the ordinance and, and get this going. Peppertown Park, as everyone knows, is, has been around for a while. Um, it is heading away from the train station down towards the Kings. And uh, this is um, pretty much the area. Up in the right-hand corner, it indicates uh, the costs of what is known as phase one. There's anywhere from three to four phases and they're broken down according to costs and, and what we think we can get done reasonably. Now, a little information. We've just received a $50,000 grant, um, the Recreation Commission did, okay. that uh, there's some discussion between the Recreation Commission and the, uh, this Peppertown Park Group uh, to allocate that $50,000 to some of it to the Peppertown Park. Okay, in addition, we got a separate grant because what we're going to do here is this. Traditionally, we have lit this, the Christmas tree right out front mm -hmm. here, okay, and that has been a, uh, uh, everyone enjoys that and so on and so forth. That's part of the winter walk it's this year. It's part of the winter walk, and, uh, but, you know, we have done so much work with that Veterans Memorial, and I've always felt that a Veterans Memorial is, is a 365-day-a-year. It should uh, be. It should be, and if it we're going to honor those people, that's how it should be. Uh, so in doing so, what we're going to do this year, we're going to kind of uh, fence off from a distance so we can still use that tree, but there won't be the people walking around that area that there right. normally would be because we're going to center the whole thing on the current Peppertown Park. Got it. And we're going to, okay. And, and then our hopes are to basically clean out this Peppertown Park and put in what we described as a great lawn. Okay. Cut we've down the trees? Cut down the old trees. There's two trees right in the middle that serve no purpose. We're going okay. to cut them down. We're going to get a brand new tree, Christmas tree, and place it, okay, okay. just towards the railroad track side of this. Got it. We have the money. We have a $5,200 grant towards that. Now, okay. it was uh, probably going to be purchased by the, from the same place that we got the tree right out here, mm -hmm. similar size. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nice. And that's going to be the new traditional place for our, for our Christmas gathering, nice. our holiday gathering, nice. because what we're going to do is right now everybody knows that there are numerous blocks and uh, bricks mm -hmm. that people mm -hmm. paid and what have you. We're going to take all them up and reset them in a pattern like a horseshoe. Very nice. All the way around and do, putting more of them obviously right in front of the tree, mm -hmm. okay, opening up this entire lawn. Got okay? it. And that's where Great we hope, concerts that's and where stuff. we hope to have concerts eventually. We would, we would like to put a, um, amphitheater, an amphitheater sure. kind of situation in this end and, and what have you. Got the it. trees that are at this end will all remain, obviously, as will the clock. Mm -hmm. okay. Ultimately, we'd like to possibly also park uh, at an angle, okay, along Sherman. Is there enough is, space there? There is. Okay, okay, there is without. Now, this they, is they park, we usually park, you know, along Correct. this way, and it get, looks kind of tight. But to do so, we would take a, a small piece, okay, Got from it. this. But it's Green Acres, but apparently we can do it. Mm -hmm. So, again, that's down the road. That's not necessarily right. phase one. So, phase one is going to cost $116,950. And I want to thank Hall's Garden, uh, who really did a heck of a job uh, putting Price together. Numbers. Absolutely. Uh -huh. and. and and um, they have put a professional, uh, uh, you know, series of three or four 
diagrams together for us, and we want to thank them, and they are part of this. So this, if you think now, this ties in then with the Veterans Park diagonal across the street. This will then also tie in to the current, the new, excuse me, the new town hall, which the parking area is all going to have benches, and it's, oh, going, nice. to, it's going to be landscaped. Now, that brings us to Vito Mondelli, the late Vito Mondelli, yes, who was that. kind enough. And if you, if you look at this, his property would be right about here. Exactly. Okay. Um, he uh, bequeathed uh, mm -hmm. that property to the town. Uh, we said we would take it, but subject to not to the cost issue. Now, we are in discussions now, in the discussion stage, with uh, having a developer come in, and there is a, there is a house print yeah. on that property. Mm -hmm. to put up, and then they would agree to build a park and maintain it in perpetuity, which means okay. that if they sell the property, they are going to uh, manage their own property. So in other words, exactly. they bring them up, they still manage. They will, they will agree to build it and maintain it in perpetuity. If they sell it, it goes, the, the seller purchases it with that understanding. Exactly. So now we're tying in a, a park on the corner, with the Veterans Park, mm -hmm. across the street in the Mondelli property, nice. across the tracks to the Great Lawn, and then back, back to the... Very cool. Uh, that's that's, Very cool. that's what we're trying to do. I like it. Now, you said a group came together. They already formed a 501 they, They've already done it. Are they, are they just residents? A or absolutely. I kind of missed that part. on Because on, now you're saying we're spending, and it started off with some people came forward with a 501c3. So how does we're, that Well, we're now? not, this, this will be built with private funds. Okay. This will be built with private funds, okay? All right. We need $116,000. And like and I said- the 501c3 That's all with the 501c3. That was kind of their brainstorm, the Peppertown Park Committee's well, what happened brainstorm. Is it, it really flowed, as I said, from the Veterans Park. Got okay? it. It kind of flowed across the street. And I like I said, it was, the, it was the success of the one effort. And I really, understand. the success and, and the effort of everyone in town that contributed. Yeah. All right. Well, it, it makes a lot of sense. I just wanted people to yep. be clear that we're that combination tied together. Correct. And, and, and really where this is, and the people, the, uh, tomorrow the Chamber of Commerce is meeting in here, and we're going to discuss that with the Chamber right. of Commerce. And again, it, this can only help benefit everybody. And I love it. And it makes the town, because people forget something. You know, how many, hundreds of people a day go right yeah. through our town. Yeah. Okay. Right and they see, they see what's happening in Berkeley Heights. It's a great town. It's yep. a great place to be. I love the idea. Uh, Mayor, a lot of information tonight. Yeah. Um, I love the new exciting things that we're just getting out. And the people watching it live are going to find out before they see it on, on uh, the website uh, with our show. that will be edited and put together for, for next week. Um, and we're going to close up. Do you got any uh, closing comments before well, we sign I, off? Well, you know, we've got the winter wall coming up, and we want everybody to join that. And, and hopefully the weather will cooperate. It certainly did last year. Uh, last year was such a success that we have uh, it's gonna be great. a lot more involvement this great. year, well. and uh, we're looking forward to that. And, uh, and, and just keep this in mind, this Peppertown Park thing in mind. Because, it's exciting. Yeah. I love it. Yep. Got a lot of good things going on in town. Yep. Uh, for well, let, the me say, let me say one more thing while I'm okay, at it, because it's in my mind. There's been some discussion about fields, mm -hmm. okay? And uh, I just want everybody to know that 90% um, of the fields, 95% of the fields are owned uh, by either the Board of Education or the okay. county. All right. All right. So we are trying to work with those entities. Okay. The county would be more than willing to take back, but if they take it back, then they take back control, Got which it. means you can't tell who's going to be on that field. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With respect to the school board, we'd love to work with them, but like everybody knows, 56 cents out of every dollar goes to the school board. We get 18 cents. Yeah. So we need, we need a little give and take on that. So, but we're looking forward to working with, with, with all those groups and hopefully we can approve the only two fields we, we own Memorial, and uh, Sansone, which is up at Horseshoe. You know, so Mayor, there's a lot of great things going on in town. Really fantastic to see. I'm Dr. Donald DeFabio for the Mayor's Roundtable with Mayor Robert Woodruff. Thanks for tuning in tonight, and a big shout out to our live viewers at home. Have a good night. <laughs>